Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for viewing uh, our videos and coming in and listening to what we have to say regarding the things of the scriptures, regarding the things of God. It is never taken for granted and always appreciated when you view our, our videos and share them with others. Thank you so much. And if you're not already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like what we're teaching and you, when you listen to these videos and you enjoy it, you like it, you get something out of it, please give it a thumbs up. And we always tremendously enjoy when you comment in the comment section below the videos. So let's get right into it today. I want to talk about uh, something that Paul said to Timothy. Paul was uh, a spiritual father to Timothy. He was uh, a mentor to Timothy. He taught Timothy the things of God. He taught uh, Timothy uh, the scriptures. And so one of the things I want to look at is something that he shared with Timothy in the second book of Timothy. Uh, the second book of Timothy, I'm going to go to chapter 2. And Paul begins to talk to Timothy about being a, a soldier of Jesus Christ. And so let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and let's start reading. And so Paul said to uh, his, his, his uh, 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 spiritual child, he said to Timothy, his spiritual son, so you, my son, his spiritual father, leading and guiding and mentoring, so you, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Share the things that you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses with faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Here's why I want to get to verse 3. Endure hard times as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No soldier on active duty entangles himself with civilian affairs that he may please the enlisting officer. Who's our enlisting officer? Jesus Christ. We are soldiers of Jesus Christ. And so a couple of things I want to look at here as Paul is teaching his spiritual son, uh, Timothy. He said, Timothy, endure hard times, not just like a soldier, but like a good soldier. So let's pull one word out for, for right now. Let's pull the word endure. Let's pull endure uh, out of this particular scripture for a minute. And let's just expound on its definition. And the endure, a simple definition would be to last through, to last through something. Here, Tim, uh, Paul is telling Timothy, endure, last through hard times. Uh, it also means to suffer patiently. It, it would also remain, uh, mean re, to remain firm under suffering. Now, none of us like that word suffering. Who wants to suffer? Who volunteers to suffer? No one. None of us want to suffer anything. None of us want anything to be hard for us. We would like things to be easy or easier than what they are, you know, right now in present time, you know, and we're living in a time, you know, and I've said this so many times that I don't even want to say it anymore. You know, we're living in a time that is it's difficult. You know, these are what you would uh, define as hard times. And, you know, as a, as a, as a world, as, as a nation, as a whole, you know, these are difficult times. These are hard times. And, you know, that's what the media said. Everybody's saying it that these are difficult times, these are hard times. But I'm not talking about, you know, endure hardship uh, as a whole. I'm talking about individually, you know, enduring this word that we don't like, you know, suffering. You know, Jesus uh, suffered on the cross for all of us. As a matter of fact, what he had to endure is called a cup of suffering. And, and it was so much suffering, you know, in that cup that Jesus prayed that it would be removed from him, that he would not have to endure that cup of suffering. But, you know, we see that Jesus said, nevertheless, Lord, thy will be done. And so Paul is saying to his spiritual son, Timothy, endure hard 
times. Like a soldier. No, like a good soldier. And so, you know, what is a soldier? So we know that's a big definition that, you know, this is going to be a short de uh, video. So we won't get all the way into that definition of what is a soldier. But a, a soldier is a person who serves in an army. And what do we say as Christians? We're in the army of the Lord. Amen. So we are soldiers of the Lord. So Paul says, Timothy, Timothy, endure as a good soldier, like a good soldier. And so a soldier is a person who, who serves in our, our army. A soldier is a fighter. This is a fighter. So Paul is referring to Timothy, telling him, you know, to be a fighter, you know, be a warrior. When these hard times come, be a fighter, be a warrior. A soldier is a fighter who uses their skills and their training to get the job done to win the battle, to make it through. This is not going to be a long video, so I'm not going to elaborate on a lot of these things that I'm saying, but, but I'm throwing out a lot of nuggets today, I believe. Amen. I believe, so I'm biased. I believe I'm throwing out a lot of nuggets. So a soldier is a, a fighter, a warrior, a trooper. Amen. So, so Paul has said, Timothy, endure hard times, hardships, like a good trooper. Amen. And, and a soldier is someone that must persevere in the midst of the battle. A soldier is someone who must persist. A soldier is someone who must keep on, but we don't want to just be a soldier. We don't want to just persevere. We don't want to just persist. We don't want to just keep on in a hardship, in a hard time. And so he laid that out for Timothy. Be a good soldier. Amen. A good soldier is going to persevere without wimping out. A good soldier is going to persist without all of the complaining and the murmuring, you know, uh, complaining and murmuring as a soldier that happens, but a good soldier is not going to complain and murmur in the battle. You know, you can get hurt in a battle while you're complaining and murmuring. Amen. You can get hurt. You can make the situation worse. You can make the battle harder for your own self. You can make the suffering worse just by complaining murmuring, you know, uh, 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 wimping out in the midst of the battle. So we want to be a good soldier. We want to endure hardness like a good soldier. And what is one of the characteristics of a good soldier? Courage. Amen. What did God tell Joshua? And what, and Joshua was definitely a soldier. He was a commander of an army. Amen. He was, he was the leader of a group of soldiers. And God told Joshua what? He told him to be of good courage. Joshua, meditate on the word day and night because that's what's going to help you. That's what's going to help you persevere. Knowing the word and meditating on the word is what's going to help you to endure hardship. It's going to help you. God told Joshua to endure. He told him to have courage, meditate on the word where and how day and night. And this word that Joshua would uh, meditate on would be what would help him to keep on going through the hardship. Nobody wants to suffer. I don't want to suffer. To tell you the truth, I don't want to go through anything. That's the God honest truth. I'm just being transparent. Oh, I would like for things to be easy or easier. Uh, uh, Sonia Longstreet does not want to go through anything. I'm just telling you the truth. That has not been my life story. That has not, that is not what has happened for me. I've been through a lot of things. And so, you know, in that, you know, I'm learning more and more and more as you, as you endure suffering, as you go through suffering, you know, you learn to do it better. You learn to be a better soldier and a good soldier is going to have a uh, courage. A good soldier is going to be someone that, that is consistent. They're going to be consistent in the battle. They're going to be someone that's disciplined, disciplined in their focus, disciplined in their faith. Amen. That's a good soldier. Courage, uh, uh, consistency, being 
discipline, amen, discipline in the things of God, discipline in the things that's going to take you through and take you over, you know, being able to remain firm under suffering. And this is what Paul was telling Timothy here in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 3, endure hard times as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Amen. If we want to win the battle, if we want the victory that we always confessing and always singing about, we're going to have to be consistent in what we are standing for. Amen. We're going to have to be consistent in what we're standing for. We're going to have to take a stand for what we believe in and stand behind what we say. Amen. Let our yea be yea and let our nay be nay. If we're going to stand and believe God, we're going to have to be consistent in that. Amen. And some of the things that we go through, we have to make a decision. We just have to decide, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to wimp out. This is suffering. Yes, this is hard. I'm not going to wimp out. I'm going to see this through. I'm going to endure this. I'm going to persevere. I'm going to persist. I'm going to keep on. We have to make a decision. I know the last battle that I went through, you know, this saying, you know, I know the last battle I went through. I did kind of wimp out. You know, I, I was complaining. I was murmuring. Amen. And I was having a pity party. I was telling everybody about how bad I felt and how hard things were. And then we make that decision. You know what? This time I'm not going to do that. This time I'm going to do what Paul told Timothy to do. And it's there in the scriptures for us for a reason, amen, for us to learn how to endure suffering, how to endure hardship. And we don't just do it as a soldier. It's good if we do it as a soldier. We thank the Lord for that. But we want to take this thing to a whole nother, another level and do like Paul told Timothy. We want to be good soldiers. At the end of the day, we want to hear, well done. Thy good servant. Amen. Well done, thy good servant. We want to hear that we've done this well. And we want to win the battles. And we want to win the victories. And we want to be what the word of God says we are. And that is overcomers. But you got to put the work in. Amen. God bless you. See you next time.